When selling your house, the listing, it's meant to paint this beautiful picture and help buyers picture themselves living in your home. But it can be a double-edged sword. If you paint too good of a picture and then buyers go to see your house and they're let down, they don't see the features that they're expecting to see, well, that's not gonna help you sell for top dollar. From the photo submitted, I'm guessing this could be a similar situation. I wanna take you through a listing that had so many buyers lining up to see the house. It looked like a golden opportunity, but the moment you walked through the door, it wasn't as exciting as they thought. I'm Drew Scott, and this is Setting the Stage. It's never a good idea to have a house looking so good in the listing and then the moment you walk in, it starts to let you down. This house is beautiful. I love the listing photos. I like the high ceilings when I walk in, but then I realize it's a three bedroom, two bedroom house. The first bedroom is actually meant to be a living space right as soon as you walk in the door. And just a little side note, they're testing for radon right now, which is okay because that has to be done with a lot of houses, but don't have inspections or testing done during house tours. That can turn off buyers. This kitchen is another sore point for me. In the listing, it looked wider, it looked bigger. It looked like it had newer cabinets with a beautiful color and concrete countertops, which a lot of people love. But then I come in here and I realize the space is very tight. They decided not to take out the chimney in the next room and therefore the kitchen's still closed in. The cabinets don't go very high. And then you're expecting a beautiful concrete countertop, adds a lot of value. And you notice this is just a cheap laminate countertop and they put a skim coat over top. DIY job gone bad. There are beautiful hardwood floors everywhere else. We should just continue that same flow into this space. This is definitely something that would let down buyers. This house is probably being used as a rental unit. That's why they have a bedroom in what's supposed to be a living area, but it doesn't show the best for buyers. So stage a house the way buyers would wanna see it. So all I ask is when you're listing a house, make sure you truly represent what the house has to offer. Any features, beautiful rooms, even if it's dated, just be honest with the home because at the end of the day, the last thing you wanna do is have buyers disappointed when they walk into your house.